The night has long been associated with mystery and the unknown. It's during these eerie hours that the world takes on a different, often unsettling, dimension. As the rest of the world sleeps, those on the graveyard shift often find themselves encountering the unexplained, the supernatural, and downright creepy. Antonio's Mystery Encounter Antonio's mystery encounter began with his heartfelt visit to purchase a cemetery plot for his ailing father, showcasing his deep sense of care and spirituality. However, what followed was an eerie turn of events. On the day of the funeral, an ominous storm added an unsettling atmosphere to the proceedings. As Antonio's father's funeral procession made a brief stop in front of the cemetery's office building, he shared a wave with the cemetery manager, Keith. Later, as Keith conducted his routine surveillance of the cemetery, he noticed Antonio's car in the procession, but then saw an unknown figure hastily walking through the tombstones before disappearing behind a hedge. Keith attempted to investigate, only to find no trace of the person he saw. This mysterious encounter took a chilling twist when Keith, back in the office, heard the door slam shut and then spotted the same Hispanic man, reminiscent of Antonio's father, staring back at him with a blank expression through a window. The figure's sudden disappearance left Keith shaken, and even though he reasoned it might have been a trick of the mind, the lingering unease from that eerie evening still haunts him to this day. Midnight Exploration in the Old Cemetery In the pitch-black heart of a chilling October night, Jeremy and his thrill-seeking friend embarked on an audacious adventure into the desolate depths of an ancient cemetery. The graveyard, shrouded in an unsettling silence, bore the weight of forgotten souls and seemed to seethe with an ominous presence. Unmindful of the reverence owed to the deceased, they engaged in disrespectful antics, their laughter and frivolity punctuating the eerie stillness. But their insolence soon came face to face with an otherworldly terror as the graveyard responded with the sinister laughter that echoed through the tombstones, setting their hearts ablaze with primal fear. Overwhelmed by an unshakable sensation of being relentlessly watched, they fled the cursed grounds in a desperate sprint. Yet their nightmarish ordeal was far from over. For upon reaching their car, they discovered it in a state of inexplicable disarray, a grim reminder that the cemetery's malevolent grip refused to release them, haunting their memories with the chilling specter of that harrowing night. Haunted Cemetery Building Eric's impromptu expedition to the isolated cemetery was fueled by an insatiable curiosity for the supernatural, a desire to venture into the unknown and confront the eerie mysteries that lurked beyond the veil of the living world. As they ventured deeper into the graveyard's desolate expanse, the moon cast a pale, ethereal glow upon the scene revealing row after row of time-worn tombstones, each one whispering secrets of lives long past. It was amidst the spectral landscape that they stumbled upon an ominous building, a relic of a bygone era, its crumbling facade bearing witness to decades of abandonment. Cautiously, they entered the forsaken structure, the creaking floorboards and musty air heightening their sense of trepidation. In the dim light, they came face to face with an elderly man, his presence as enigmatic as it was unsettling. His features were shrouded in shadow, his eyes gleaming with an eerie luminescence that seemed to pierce through the very depths of their souls. The encounter took a nightmarish turn when, without warning, the old man unleashed a blood-curdling scream that reverberated through the building's decaying walls, a spine-tingling sound that struck terror into their hearts. Panic overcame them as they scrambled to escape the suffocating dread that had descended upon them. Grandpa's Supernatural Visit on a solemn day that coincided with what would have been Grandpa's birthday, the family embarked on a poignant pilgrimage to the cemetery. Their visit was a heartfelt tribute to a beloved family member who had departed from the realm of the living. 
As they entered the cemetery grounds, the skies were overcast, casting a melancholic pall over the atmosphere, which mirrored the profound sense of loss that still clung to their hearts. Standing before Grandpa's resting place, they paid their respects with utmost reverence. It was a moment laden with emotion, the weight of their grief palpable in the heavy air. However, what transpired next was beyond surreal and left them in a state of utter perplexity. Against the backdrop of the somber gray tombstones, a figure materialized, one that bore an uncanny resemblance to Grandpa himself. It was a startling moment of disbelief as they watched this ethereal figure, dressed in attire that seemed otherworldly, as though Grandpa had paid them a spectral visit. Their senses reeled, and they grappled with the inexplicable, questioning whether their eyes had deceived them or if something truly supernatural had occurred. The supernatural visit took an even more bewildering turn when, in the deep silence of the night, a phone call shattered their uneasy repose. With trembling hands, they answered the call, only to be met with static on the other end. In that eerie moment, a faint yet unmistakable voice seemed to emanate from the void. A voice that bore an uncanny resemblance to none other than Grandpa's. It was a disconcerting and bewildering experience that left them with more questions than answers, igniting a chilling uncertainty about the boundaries that separated the living from the beyond. The lingering unease stemming from this supernatural visit became a persistent presence in their lives, an enigma that defied resolution and haunted their thoughts. Sleepless nights were plagued by the persistent question of whether Grandpa's spirit had indeed reached out to them, or if their overwhelming grief had given rise to vivid yet eerie hallucinations, blurring the line between the tangible world and the ethereal unknown. The Ghostly Woman in White This haunted cemetery story began with Ninarek's impulsive decision to quench a thirst for adventure by delving into the realm of the supernatural, an audacious plan to explore a cemetery under the Shroud of Nightfall. Driven by a youthful curiosity and desire to test the boundaries of the unknown, they embarked on an ill-fated journey that would forever alter their perceptions of the eerie and the unexplained. As they ventured deeper into the cemetery's hallowed grounds, the moon cast an eerie pallor upon the scene, transforming it into a shadowy labyrinth of gravestones and haunting silence. The air grew heavy with an unsettling presence as they roamed amidst the moss-covered markers, their laughter echoing through the hallowed solitude. However, their insolence was met with an unsettling and unforeseen encounter. A woman in a flowing white gown, her presence ethereal and her countenance hauntingly serene. She appeared as if a spectral wraith had materialized before them, her eyes seeming to peer into their very souls. The encounter with the enigmatic woman took an even more bewildering turn when Ninarik, driven by a mixture of fear and curiosity, decided to capture the eerie scene on their phone's camera. Little did they know that this decision would lead to an unsettling revelation. The video evidence they captured portrayed the woman in white with an eerie, ethereal quality, her figure hauntingly distinct against the moonlit backdrop. The implications of the footage they had captured were nothing short of staggering, as it appeared to offer undeniably concrete evidence of a supernatural presence that defied their understanding and explanation. The eerie images they had recorded seemed to provide irrefutable proof of something beyond the realms of science or common understanding. The unresolved mystery surrounding the ghostly woman in white weighed heavily on Ninarek and their companions. It wasn't merely an enigma to be dismissed. It had a profound impact on their beliefs and perceptions. The sight of the spectral woman became an unwelcome visitor in their restless nights, haunting their dreams and casting a shadow over their waking hours. Sleepless nights became a recurring theme in their lives as they grappled with the unsettling image of the woman whose ethereal presence seemed to transcend the boundaries of the tangible world. The encounter in the cemetery with its inexplicable and ghostly apparition had shaken the foundations of their once skeptical outlook on the paranormal. It had transformed their worldview and left them questioning the very fabric of reality itself. 
The experience ignited a series of profound questions about the blurred lines between the living and the supernatural, leaving them with a multitude of inquiries that outnumbered the answers they desperately sought. Their journey into the unknown had not only challenged their beliefs, but had also opened a doorway to a world that defied explanation and invited them to explore the mysteries that lurked in the shadows between the known and the unknowable. The Cursed Graveyard Statue Deep within the heart of what appears to be an unassuming cemetery lies a menacing secret that has sent shivers down the spines of countless visitors. At the center of this graveyard, there stands a cursed statue, a foreboding monument that is surrounded by an aura of legend and enigma. It has become a source of unease and fear for anyone bold enough to approach it. The very presence of this eerie sculpture casts a chilling atmosphere over the entire cemetery. This cursed graveyard statue is not merely an inanimate structure. It is the epicenter of a series of inexplicable and unsettling events that have left witnesses bewildered and terrified. Those who have ventured near it recount disturbing stories of the statue's eyes appearing to track their every movement, its stone features contorting into sinister expressions and shadowy figures materializing in its vicinity. Some speak of chilling whispers that seem to emanate from the statue itself, as if it possesses a malevolent consciousness determined to torment those who draw near. Personal accounts from individuals who have braved the statue's presence are filled with spine-tingling experiences. Some even claim to have witnessed ghostly apparitions that manifest in the statue's proximity, leaving them haunted by memories that refuse to fade. The enduring fear and avoidance of the area surrounding the cursed graveyard statue are tangible. Many visitors have chosen to steer clear of this ominous monument, as its sinister reputation continues to cast a long shadow over the otherwise peaceful cemetery. It serves as a grim reminder that the boundary between the living and the supernatural can sometimes blur, leaving those who dare to venture too close with an enduring sense of unease and a reluctance to revisit the accursed site. The Phantom Mourner Among the most mystifying tales that haunt the local cemetery is that of the Phantom Mourner, a spectral figure who materializes at random funerals, her presence shrouded in an eerie enigma. The story of this mysterious mourner has captivated the imagination of those who frequent the graveyard. Her appearances defy explanation and seem to transcend the boundaries of the living world. Accounts of multiple witnesses who have encountered the phantom mourner paints a perplexing picture of her spectral visits. Funeral attendees speak of a woman draped in black mourning attire who arrives unannounced and lingers at the gravesite, her mournful gaze fixated upon the deceased. Her presence is chillingly consistent Yet she remains an unknown figure, appearing at funerals of both strangers and acquaintances alike, leaving a trail of bewildered witnesses in her wake. The eerie connection between the phantom mourner and the deceased is a source of speculation and unease. Some believe she is a harbinger of death, a spectral entity that materializes to pay her respects to the souls departing this world. Others ponder the possibility of a deeper, otherworldly connection between her and the deceased, as if she is a guardian to those who pass on to the great beyond, a silent sentinel who watches over their final moments. Speculations about the identity and purpose of this supernatural visitor continue to swirl among the cemetery's visitors. Is she a wandering spirit condemned to eternal mourning? Or does she possess a purpose known only to the realms of the supernatural? The enigma surrounding the Phantom Mourner serves as a reminder that even in the realm of the living, the mysteries of the afterlife can manifest in the most inexplicable and unsettling ways. Speaking of, has anyone heard of the Weeping Angel Statue? The Weeping Angel Statue so picture this, a serene cemetery graced by a statue of an angel, wings outstretched, a symbol of peace and solace, right? Well, not quite. 
This tale delves into the eerie legend of the Weeping Angel, a statue that's said to weep tears of blood. It's the kind of stuff that sends shivers down your spine, and it's been a source of fascination and dread for those who've encountered it. Now let's get to the actual creepy part. The accounts of folks who've witnessed this unsettling phenomenon. Imagine yourself wandering through the graveyard, minding your own business when you stumble upon this angel statue. Nothing unusual, right? That is, until you notice something that makes your heart skip a beat. Tears, but not ordinary tears. These are crimson drops that trickle from the angel's eyes, staining the stone with a haunting hue. Some say they've seen this firsthand, leaving them dumbfounded and spooked. So what's the deal with the sweeping angel, you ask? Well, theories and superstitions abound. Some claim it's a harbinger of doom, a warning of impending danger. Others believe it's a conduit between our world and the afterlife, a messenger of the spirits who found no rest. Superstitions warn that gazing into its tear-filled eyes can bring bad luck or even summon malevolent forces. It's the kind of stuff that makes you rethink your cemetery strolls. Despite the unease it provokes, the Weeping Angel statue continues to captivate the curious and the brave. It's become a focal point for ghost hunters and thrill seekers, drawn to its eerie aura like moths to a flame. The ongoing fascination with this haunted statue is a testament to our enduring love for the macabre and the allure of the unknown that lurks within the confines of a peaceful cemetery. So the next time you spot an angel statue in a graveyard, you might want to keep an eye out for those crimson tears. It could be an encounter you won't soon forget. The Crypt Keeper's Curse You are sure to get goosebumps from this story. It's about a vengeful spirit who's made a home in a cemetery, and let me tell you, it's not your typical friendly ghost story. This Crypt Keeper is said to be anything but welcoming, lurking in the shadows and carrying a bone-chilling grudge. Imagine you're wandering through this cemetery, perhaps drawn by morbid curiosity or just looking for a little adventure. And then, out of nowhere, you encounter the crypt, an ancient structure shrouded in mystery. Some folks can't resist the temptation to pry it open, and that's when things take a turn for the sinister. They speak of strange noises, cold gusts of wind, and an overwhelming sense of dread. The kind of stuff that makes your hair stand on end. But that's not even the spookiest part. Those who dare to disturb the crypt often find themselves in the midst of eerie events and a series of misfortunes that seem to have no logical explanation. From unexplained accidents to strange illnesses, it's as if the curse of the crypt has cast its shadow over their lives. And try as they might, the misfortunes just keep piling up, leaving them with an unshakable feeling that they've unleashed something beyond their understanding. The enduring belief in the curse of the Crypt Keeper has left an indelible mark on cemetery visitors. Even the bravest among us think twice before venturing near that foreboding crypt. It serves as a chilling reminder that some legends are best left undisturbed, and that the vengeful spirits of the past may not be as forgiving as we'd hope. So the next time you find yourself in a cemetery, keep your distance from those crypts. You never know what ancient grudges may lie within. These eerie encounters and unexplained phenomena serve as a haunting reminder that even in the most serene of resting places, the whispers of the otherworldly can still send shivers down our spines, blurring the lines between the natural and the supernatural, and compelling us to contemplate the mysteries that await us beyond the veil of life. Cemeteries truly are a creepy place where the most shocking occurrences can take place, and these stories are proof of that.